Hello, can you believe the sitcom It Ain't Half Hot Mom was released 49 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now, who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Melvin Hayes was born on January 11, 1935, in Wandsworth, London, England. He played the character Gunner Bombardier Gloria Beaumont in the sitcom when he was 39 years old in 1974. He is now living happily at 88. Hell, why aren't I doing Esther Williams? Because you're Ginger Rogers, you can't do every part. There was a time when I was the only one in the show dressed up as a woman. Now they're all having to go. But it's too much, Solly, I tell you, it's too much. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll wave my right arm if you're too near the wall. I had Cliff Richard, Eunice Stubbs in the shadows on board. All I could say... Windsor Davies was born on August 28, 1930, in Canning Town, Essex, England. He portrayed the character Battery Surgeon Major in the sitcom when he was 44 years old in 1974. We regret to inform you that in 2019, he passed away at 88, leaving us deeply saddened. Oh, Mr. Lardy Dog, Gunner Graham. What did you think you was doing sitting down by there drinking tea? Why wasn't you waiting and stone? I'm terribly sorry, sir. Shut up! I want you to vote for me, Ringo, and your mother. I can't vote for my mother. <laughs> you know, Ringo, if brains were taxed, you'd get a rebate. Don Estelle was born on May 22, 1933, in Quamsall, Manchester, England. He played the character Gunner Lofty Sugden in the sitcom when he was 41 years old in 1974. We regret to inform you that in 2003, he passed away at 70, leaving us deeply saddened. Boy. If I stand in one place too long, I get dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been taking your salt tablets? No, Sergeant Major, they make me feel sick. You get a mama, and then your troubles increase. It's on for Dona, Jonas Soda, the earth sex smoke sex ten cents a piece. They Donald Hewlett was born on August 30th, 1920, in Northampton, Manchester, England. He played the character Colonel Charles Reynolds in the sitcom when he was 54 years old in 1974. We regret to inform you that in 2011, he passed away at 90, leaving us deeply saddened. Major, this is a holding unit. I'm not authorized to issue extra clothing unless the men are posted to active service. But I do see your point. Uh, we need a concert party. What we want is a... Oh, that's Dorothy. No, oh, did, did your father give you this? Uh, well, no, my mother, sir. Ah, I think your father gave you lots of other things. Stewart McGuigan was born on March 2nd, 1944, in Stirling, Stirlingshire, Scotland. He played the character Gunner Atlas McIntosh in the sitcom when he was 30 years old in 1974. He's now living happily at 79. What a damn shame you chaps are leaving. Ah, oh, well, sir, can't be helped. Mind you, it's a pity, because we was planning something really special, sir. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, but in Wood Lane to record all the interior stuff. And then David took it all off and edited it together, included. John Clegg was born on July 9, 1934, in Murray, British India. He played the character Gunner Paradis K. Graham in the sitcom when he was 40 years old in 1974. He is now living happily at 89. Education won't do you much good up there, will it? <laughs> no, Sergeant Major. No, Sergeant Major. <laughs> mm. I know, boy. <laughs> 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 George Layton was born on March 2nd, 1943, in Bradford, West Yorkshire, England. He played the character Bombardier Silly Solomons in the sitcom when he was 31 years old in 1974. Now he's living happily at 80. Very good. Very shrewd. And then old Shadok will know we can manage with one less. And Atlas will get posted. And that'll only be the thin end of the wedge. Before... Long after my first child, my oldest son was born, after a little spell out of work. I mean, uh, I've been very fortunate in my career, not been out of work too many times, but... Dino Shafiq was born on March 21st, 1930, in Dhaka, Bengal, British India. He played the character Charhwala Mukhamed in the sitcom when he was 44 years old in 1974. We regret to inform you that in 1984, he passed away at 53, leaving us deeply saddened. 
<laughs> I'm reading all about it in the newspaper. What's that? I'm also reading that General Montgomery has reached Berlin. Perhaps the war will be over in a very soon time. Oh. Christopher Mitchell was born on May 21, 1948, in Surrey, England. He played the character Gunnar Parke Parkin in a sitcom. When he was 26 years old in 1974, we regret to inform you that in 2001, he passed away at 52, leaving us deeply saddened. Tell us, Admiral. Oh, should be, sir. Call that Indian boy down the jetty. He was very friendly towards me, sir. He asked me if I'd like to meet his sister. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Knowles was born on April 26, 1937, in Spondon, Derby, Derbyshire, England. He played the character Captain Jonathan Ashworth in the sitcom when he was 37 years old in 1974. He is now living happily at 86. You all right, sir? As a matter of fact, I'm terribly worried, Sergeant Major. Exposing it to this hot sun... Barbara Batty was born on February 14, 1949, in Southall, Middlesex, England. He played the character Pankawala Ramzan in the sitcom when he was 25 years old in 1974. He is currently living happily at 74. <laughs> Kenneth McDonald was born on November 20, 1915, in Manchester, England. He played the character Gunnar Nobby Clark in the sitcom when he was 24 years old in 1974. We regret to inform you that in 2001, he passed away at 15, leaving us deeply saddened. Oh, he's got the doolally tap. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Bates was born on December 4, 1920, in Jansi, British India. He played the character Rangi Ram in the sitcom when he was 54 years old in 1974. We regret to inform you that in 1978, he passed away at 57, leaving us deeply saddened. Where is that? It is very infra dig for a man like you to be doing work like this. You must think of your beautiful hands and let me do the infra digging. <laughs> Tell me who's your favorite character in the sitcom It Ain't Half Out Mom and share your thoughts on the deceased actors by leaving your comments below this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.